is the first practical that is sampling theorem let's take a signal with time period of 4 its frequency f can be given as 1 upon the analog signal can be written as x is equal to cos 2 pi f now this t will go from minus infinity to infinity but for practical purposes what we did is that we had taken from minus 10 and we'll go to the 10 in uh, matlab we need to give the interval therefore we had given the interval of 0 0.01 this you can see over here we had given the t which goes from minus 10 to 10 this is the time period the frequency we are calculated we are written the sine wave we are plotted it and we had just given x level and y level let's see how it will look like so it will look like this now let's sample this signal with sampling frequency fs is equal to f therefore when we when we sample a signal with twice of the frequency of that of the original signal what we will get we will get sample from each cycle in our case we will get a sample over here and sample over here so that we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven samples so we are going to get 11 samples there will be 5 on the negative side 5 on the positive side and one at the origin so these samples will start from minus 5 and will go to the 5 with interval of 1 and it will be the program you can see that the sampling frequency is a twice of that of the signal frequency the n that are the samples goes from minus 5 5 the equation of the sampled signal x of n will look like cos of 2 pi f divided by fs into n. this we have seen in the theory of dsp this is represented over here 2 pi n and fm divided by fs we had plotted that against the into that is the samples okay we we'll use stem over here because we want to see the discrete signals we had used plot over here to see what will what will be the envelope of the signal if it is converted into the analog signal and we had given x label y label and its title let's look how the output looks like here you can see that one sample over here second over here and it will continue 11 samples are there and this is the envelope now let's take the second case where we are taking sampling frequency six times that of the original signal frequency in this case now when we had when fs was twice f we started from minus 5 and we went to the 5 so if fs is 3f that is the three times samples we need to take that is we will we'll go from minus 15 to 15 okay and the similarly the sampled signal x2 of n will look like cos of 2 pi f divided by fs into n this has been shown over here that is it will go the sample range is minus 15 to 15 and this is the signal and we are plotted plotting it okay let's see how the output looks like let's see in two cases first case was where sampling frequency was 
equal to that of the choice of the signal frequency in the second case we have seen that sampling frequency was greater than choice of that of signal frequency in the third case we will see that the fs is less than choice of signal frequency let's uh, take fs is equal to 1.6 so when fs was 2 f we have taken n which goes from minus pi to pi when fs is equal to 1.6 this the sample will be given as pi u into 1.6 divided by 2 and it will come at to be 4 so it will go from minus 4 to 4 in the interval of 1 the signal can be given as or let's say x3 let's check the program so we had taken the sampling frequency as 1.6 of f this n2 goes from minus 4 to 4 in the interval of 1 and we had written this let's check the output so you can see now the output the the frequency of this sam sample is less than that of the original signal and this is aliasing effect